Let's go to some of your voicemails. Our voicemail line is available 24 hours a day. Any time of day, you call 219-2DAVID-P, leave us voicemail. Here's a voicemail about my hair during the late night update after the third debate Monday night. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, John Blaskiewicz, and I am a like member. And I was wondering, um, when you do these um, um, these like videos like that you post like right after the uh, debate on YouTube, like I was like wondering like, because your hair is even more crazy in these videos than it, than it is like normally. Right. I was like wondering, you know, like what you do if you didn't mind um, saying like 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 like. Um, it's like you're like bedhead. But the problem is, I'm on right now. I'm on a nighttime shower schedule, and as such, it can take several hours after I shower for my hair to get back down to what some might consider a more reasonable level. So when that video was recorded, and you can find it on YouTube, it was just it, it wasn't the best moment for it, you know. Is there ever a good moment when it comes to your hair? Sometimes, yeah. Mm -hmm. It happens. It, it's almost it's about as common as a blue moon, which is you know that second full Literally, moon of the month, like. Blue, like on the screen behind you, blue? No, blue moon is in the second full moon of the month. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, and then here is another voicemail from the Eggman about the anti-Semitic bar mitzvah comment, which we got via voicemail a couple of days earlier. Hey, guys, how's it going? I know you're doing your show live right now, and I'm leaving you a message, and it's really dumb, but I'm driving home, and you guys are on live, and, you know, I can't afford that fancy-ass... Uh, insider deal. I'm just kidding, but I wanted to tell you guys, I feel really bad that neither or any of you have been bar mitzvahed before. So, I think we need to have a bar mitzvah for you, David, uh, for Luis also, who sounded kind of bummed out, and I assume Guatam didn't have one, since David didn't have one. Um, you guys need to get $18 checks from your friend's parents, you need to get some crappy gift certificates, and you need to get a savings bond for $36, yep. Oh, hi, brother. That's what the savings bond was for when I was 13 years old. So those all matured for like 40 bucks a pop about, you know, uh, 15 years later. You guys are missing out a lot of studying Hebrew for $36 checks and $18 cash. And no girls will kiss you anyway. So, sorry you guys missed your bar mitzvah, man. I feel bad. Shalom, what I'm about to Louise. Later. <laughs> okay, so, you know, to cut it short, I did not have the bar mitzvah. I did study the Hebrew, though, because I did go to Hebrew school a couple of years. So it seems like I got all of the studying, but none of the $18 checks. Sad. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow afternoon, or on the bonus show, if you remember. The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com.